All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the base game, and you need to have first downloaded the installer files from GOG.com. So as long as you have that, you can start the installation. Now we're going to install this first. But then, before we start actually opening the app, after this installation, we're going to have to go get into the direct media library. Now, something I'm going to say is that you know, I encourage you to join the Code Weavers crossover community. Um, you can do that, and I'll have the link in the description to their YouTube channel as well as to their uh, website, so you can join the forums and you know share information and share notes with other people who work with um, crossover as to how you've got various applications working. So it's going to be a great uh, little tutorial here, but just wanted to clear that up. You know. We're a huge community of people like you and me who uh, go and share information and want to help each other out at getting it working. Um, the forums are moderated too, so it helps a bit. But that's just an invitation I just want to put out to you while we're doing the installation. Now that we started the base game, we're going to go and install the direct media to help get this running correctly as a GOG um, installed uh, DRM free application. So the issue here is that you know in older times we had to do a more complicated process where we had to go find all the DLLs or library files and download them manually. But crossover in the newer versions such as 23 or even 22 or 21 before that has set up packages so you can download the media library files from Crossover itself with an internet connection. It's made much more simple and thanks to feedback in the community, it's a lot more easier for you as someone who uses Crossover. So starting up, we're gonna use DirectX for modern games. This is for Windows XP and beyond which this game would be Windows XP and Beyond as an early 2000s game. So as this 
installation is going. I just wanted to let you know. Now, it won't show that this DirectX is installed fully, but it will be. So don't panic. And this is why I'm showing this to you in the tutorial. Don't panic if you don't see the bar going all the way to the right, because it is fully installed if you're doing this as I'm showing you how to do it. Now while I'm hitting the cancel button, it will be completed and it will have the DirectX files you need installed. Don't panic. Again, this is rather slow on its own, so it's no time to be worried. I'm here to guide you to help make sure that you do this right. Now that we've gotten DirectX installed to the extent we needed, we're going to go look for 32-bit libraries. Because a lot of the elements of this game, Empire at War, are 32-bit. This is before it was exclusively 64-bit, as we have now. So it installs. Now there's going to be a cancellation on this one, but it will be fully installed with the 32-bit direct media layer libraries, or DLLs, that we need to install. Now that we have it installed, we're going to begin a brief demonstration of how to play the game and get it running, just to show you that you have done the procedure correctly when it comes to installing this game using the GOG.com version. So we are going to move it over to the app screen that now that this finishes up, and we are going to open the app. it start up. This is the expansion forces of corruption. Um, but we're going to just, you know, just for demonstration, we're going to try playing a little bit of uh, a big open campaign uh, against AI. It's very, very, very basic, but it, I'm just going to show you that it works. So there's the opening screen. And then we have this one. Show you, and we're going to go select the demonstrated scenario. Galactic Conquest. Okay. Okay. Equal footing, big. So we're going to show you a few 
elements of this game, but it won't be too long. Mm -hmm. And then it will be done. So first you're starting this up. I'll show you a little battle, and then it will be finished. So hope you all get this working right, and uh, have some comments from me on if you're having new difficulties. So I'm open to taking a look at newer versions and how it works and how to fix it. So hope you have a wonderful day. And I will be uh, signing off, um, and we will be moving forward. Um, I look forward to checking out more of my tutorials. I do tutorials on video Building editing and the tricks you can do in editing videos, as well as getting apps to work here in Curly Rouge Crossover. Because there's no reason why a small error or a small change in code should keep you out of porting apps um, from one platform to another. Beginning I believe that. So, Beginning hope you have a wonderful day and I will proceed with the demo. Navigating. I call, babe. Ahead. Navigating. Sensors are reporting that there is a hostile presence surrounding the planet. Lay waste to any forces that oppose the Empire. Ready. I call, babe. Enemy forces ahead. Broadside cruiser reporting. Concentrating firepower. Yes, sir. Confirmed. Bomber standing by. Engines activated. Your order, sir. Right away. Bomber squadron reporting. Receiving orders. Ready for orders. Standing by. Attacking! Bombers at the ready. Setting up my run. For the Empire. Commencing attack run. Cruiser reporting. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. Ties reporting in. Changing We've lost the missile control. launcher. Cruiser standing by. Awaiting your command. Location confirmed. Firing on their lasers. Orders, sir. Ready, sir. Fire for maximum effect. Our launch base has been disabled. Weapons on. Target confirmed. Destroying lasers. Our lasers have been destroyed. The this torpedo launcher line. has been destroyed. Fire for maximum effect. Primary engine system is down. Frequency open. Concentrating firepower. Firing on their lasers. Prepare for jump to hyperspace.
Hi everyone, Kiel's Nova here, and I just want to show a basic, some basics on my channel here. Um, I've got some recommended channel. This is introduction. I have an, an, a nice introduction for those who are visiting my channel homepage for the first time. To explain the ins and outs. I have a couple of uh, extra places here on my channel. I have my merchandise store for you to check it out. I'm just updating it. So just some fun merchandise t-shirts, shoes, cups, <laughs> mouse pads, t f cell phone stickers, coffee mugs, etc. Nice little place. Also, something for showcasing episodes is you can reach me on my Facebook page. Send me a Facebook message and include Let's say, let's just say uh, showcase contributions and have a link of that video um, when you do. Follow me on Facebook too. I've got some nice things there. Also, I've got Instagram for just showing some jokes and memes and announcements such as Tron Aries happening and other uh, pop culture things that I view. So I recommend the Instagram page and. I also have a Rumble. Um, my Rumble channel is mostly focused on doing hobby stuff. That, and some things are not found on YouTube, but they are found on my Rumble. So, I recommend checking out the Rumble channel. And that should conclude it. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I am going to be signing. Off. Hi everyone. Kiel Nova here, and this is the ending of the video presentation on Chaos Tutorials, and here's the deal. If you want to see more of my uh, tutorials on getting your old games to work on Mac, and you want to see more tutorials on how to do various other tasks, such as very cheap ways to make YouTube videos that still look decent, and much, much more, um, feel free to subscribe and if you want to be among the first to get each video hit the notifications and Please if you enjoy liking this your vote still counts. So please click the like With a big thumbs up. All right, you have a wonderful day and I'll be signing off